Hairspray 2007 by Deja slash Dianite. This is the first declared act of terrorism <laughs> against me made in this all request spectacular. But not the last. But not the last. Yeah. This one is just domestic terrorism. That We're going last global. one is, is global <laughs> terrorism to me. I hate musicals with a passion. Yep. I hate watching people fake sing or real sing <laughs> to camera. Mm. Uh, this is the one that I have the most notes for. <laughs> and uh, it's, Are mostly, they positive? it's mostly hate. I see. My first one's positive. Three seconds in and we have the word Negro. Uh, my first note is, who's this pig? <laughs> my second note <laughs> is, what's Nikki Blonsky up to lately? Also, 400? <laughs> Scott, there has never been a bigger definition of a chode in my life. <laughs> She's four foot 11, 320 pounds. Has anyone ever looked more like a Nikki Blonsky than Nikki Blonsky? No. No. It's set in the 50s. 50s going on 60s because I will say my favorite song of the movie is Welcome to the 60s. Uh, Admittance, Scott. You fast forward a couple songs? I fast forward to all I'm gonna, songs? Well, we'll get there. There's a television show that all the kids are bopping it's and like, jiving and yeah, it's like a, to. American bandstand. Yeah, it's like bandstand. Yeah. And they have mostly whites, and then they have one show that's the blacks. Negro Day. Uh, then <laughs> there's like a really fat pig who wants to also <laughs> dance like a regular human being. She thinks she's people. She thinks she's people. Okay. They put clothes on her and makeup. <laughs> Jesus and then there's like, you know, political, racial tension. That's the plot of the movie. Here are my notes. I'm just going to power through them and you can jump in whenever you want. Hit me. Travolta mailing in his any attempt to be feminine. Well, like, but I feel like a princess. It's John Travolta in a costume. It's a closeted gay man yeah. in a fat woman suit. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer is the only good character in this movie uh -huh. because she gets all the racist lines. Yes. I said, oh, sick, a pre-mental breakdown Amanda Bynes, sans oh, face tattoos. Oh, yeah. Um, Should I get obviously redacted by Dan Schneider? Yes. Okay. But you gotta show me feet. Gotta show feet. So then, uh, okay. So then Nikki Blonsky gets in trouble at school. She gets sent to detention. Of course, detention is full of black. Redacted. I wonder how this thick white woman ingratiated herself to all the black guys there so very quickly. I wrote, do you know how pug fugly you need to be for black guys to not want to be into a fat woman that is clearly <laughs> down to fuck? Because <laughs> she wants them yeah. and they do not want her. They're nice to her, but I guess they don't want to fuck her. Oh, no. yeah. Here, okay, here's my note. I am 24 minutes into this movie. At this point, I've actively watched six out of 24 minutes. <laughs> like, like any song. Songs are done. I skipped. Songs are gone. Yeah. I skipped all the way through the song. Then my next note. Uh, I skipped another six minutes. So I guess I've watched six out of 30 minutes. <laughs> You're just powering through this movie. Uh, yeah. So then uh, they have an audition to be like the new lead dancer girl or like one of the new dancers. Because the last on the one show. got pregnant. Old Porky goes out for her. She goes out for the audition and she ends up like being quite good. So then the host of the show uh, is James Marsden. Mm -hmm. Noted uh, connection to Sonic the Hedgehog. True. So he says to her, so Tracy, tell us about yourself. And Tracy says, well, I watch the Corny Collins show and I do absolutely nothing else. And I yelled. <laughs> At my phone, Go at work, oh, on my break, yeah, no shit, it shows. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer referred to the uh, the mixture of them dancing as a black, black and tan cocktail. Oh, yep. Then we get an awesome cameo. Frank Costanza selling plus-sized bras. Jerry Stiller selling big girl titty holders. Uh, I wrote, is Travolta just doing Sweet D doing a Philadelphia accent? I'm sorry, Prudy, but some of your personal stains require pounding with a rock. Looks like we got an advantage over you guys haunting. Yeah, I, I just, I wrote this accent in all capitals. Yeah, not trying to be a woman, not trying to act, not trying to sound <laughs> like you're actually from wherever you're supposed to be from. Yeah. I did like the uh, the John Waters cameo as the flasher, the flasher at the beginning. I like when they show up to Frank Costanza's bra store and he just gives them a tray of donuts. Yeah. And I said, huh, Frank's an encourager. He's, he's absolutely, he's a feeder. He's a feeder. Yeah. Then there was a very funny line by Amanda Bynes. 
being invited places by color people. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I wish I could invite places it does, by black It does It does feel people. good. You feel very cool. Queen Laquifa uh, had a real sick leopard print outfit. Yes. Uh, it's a shame that it was jungle and not snow. And then I wrote... Too much gold, not enough white. And I wrote, at this point, I've maybe watched 22 out of 58 minutes. <laughs> I like that you're giving a running tally. Yep. <laughs> I, I really really wanted that donkey cigarette dispenser yeah where it comes out the butt yeah i really very cool that. uh then i just wrote a completely tone deaf march so we can dance scene yeah like completely fucking tone deaf oh yeah i got a question about the the structure of the school yeah do the black kids get to attend class or are they placed directly in detention? I feel like it's directly in detention. Okay, that was what They're that's what I thought. They're never in anything else except for detention. Yeah, like in the morning they just Go report to detention, to detention yeah. and that's their school well, every, day. Every day they get detention for the for, next day for being the for, wrong for color. being black. Yeah. So then the next day they show up and yeah. they're like still black. It's kind of a yeah. tomorrow. It's kind of a catch 22. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, and I can't remember exactly what they do. What uh, Travolta is like a space denier. You think I'm gonna think that he's really up there? It's not John Glenn, Mrs. Turnblad. It's pre-moon landing, so it, like he wasn't saying they faked the moon landing. I think like they're they're faking everything in space. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, I wrote, "Am I honestly supposed to believe super mega hunk Zac Efron would really be into that complete chode?" Really? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Not everything is this, chode. like, amazing, beautiful, like, oh, personality is all that matters. Sometimes Not Zac the... Efron can do better. Not the fact that your tummy goes further than your boobs. <laughs> I feel like I'm being really mean mine, now, but I'm fine with it. And mine then, mine um, does. And then my last comment was just... My tummy goes further than my boobs. Not a lot, but a little. Barely. <laughs> uh, and my, just the last note that I wrote was, a black sheriff? That's the, that was the twist. That was Shyamalanian. Shyamalanian. That was more Philly than Baltimore, that one. <laughs> uh, uh, my final thing was, I didn't know it was uh, directed by my favorite So You Think You Can Dance choreographer slash judge, Adam Shankman. Cool. Who also, I think he did like the, the step-ups too. Sure.